What's, what's going on with you, man? How are you doing? Working. Oh, you have any upcoming projects? Any new songs coming up? Um, yeah, I have a couple songs that I'm writing that put them out. That was a freestyle when DMX died. This might not drop. It's called Lose My Mind. That's the album. Yeah, I know I was capped out. I did two whole albums on nothing. A lot of bullshit. If y'all don't think I know, and I'm gonna admit it first, like. The question that most of you clicked on this video are asking yourselves, where is Party Next Door? When are we getting new music? An album to be exact. Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. So the last time that we heard a full body of work from Party Next Door will be an exact four years next month on March 27th, 2020. Party Mobile, a 15 track project, and this album probably dropped in the worst time period possible in 2020. As around this time of year in March, a large majority of the world was beginning or had completely shut down due to the pandemic. And because of that, a lot of music that came out not only that year, but in the following years post pandemic would suffer in sales. Because people weren't buying music like that as real world problems were going on and music became less of a priority. Which honestly, a whole video could be dedicated to the effects that COVID had on the music industry alone. But back to the subject at hand. Party Mobile, a very dope, laid back, easy listen, and a solid project in my opinion flew under the radar in 2020 and what's even more surprising is how low the talk around the project was considering one of the biggest singles on the album this being loyal with drake and on the remix including bad bunny you would expect a track with the megastar names alone to really take off but it never really did despite the radio play the record received as well what's even more surprising is that the second biggest single on the album believe it featuring rihanna <laughs> The feature from Rihanna was the first time that we had even heard anything musically in four years since the releasing of her last solo album, Anti, in 2016. And then next time would be shortly after that, a surprise song on the Wakanda Forever soundtrack titled Lift Me Up in 2022. And now with the current date of this recording, the two songs named would be the only recordings that we would receive in the last eight years from Rihanna. I say all that to say, getting a Rihanna feature on your album is huge enough but the fact that she rarely puts out music within this past decade period and one of the rare times that we do hear her is on your album you would think that the song would be a massive hit easily and despite having rihanna on his third single the song didn't hit the masses like it should have i could remember the buzz around that time period of her being the feature on the album but even then fans for the most part never gravitated to it as the reception surrounding the song was underwhelming as most know, Party isn't the most social guy, so you won't really catch him touring much or doing shows like that, or you won't really catch him outside, period. And then, of course, because of COVID, he was unable to do really any shows for about two years, as most artists were, until the world started to open back up. It's speculated that PND has struggled with fluctuating weight and has been self-conscious about his appearance because of it. And one of the first sightings of him in years was at a Virginia State University homecoming in 2022. As most noticeably seen that party had gained some weight, the internet didn't shy away from getting their jokes off. And if you could guess how a person that may have insecurities with their weight could feel if they see those type of comments, after finally building up the confidence to present themselves to the public, Looking at these comments might have the opposite effect of getting the artist to put music out and perform. It might just bring them back in their cocoon. But hopefully the body shaming comments hasn't gotten to PND and that he's in the right space mentally. Over the past four years, Party would usually go live on Instagram from time to time to show his fans some unreleased music or to purposely tease or give his fans blue balls by playing amazing short snippets of songs that he would say were to never come out. This might not drop, it's called Lose My Mind. What's really interesting is in one of his last Instagram lives from 2023, he had some choice words to say about his last releases of music and the state of music also, as well as showing off a slew of gang signs that I've never seen before. Yeah, I know I was capped out. I did two whole albums on nothing, a lot of bullshit. If y'all don't think I know, and I'm gonna admit it first, like, I'm the, exactly, I'm the biggest, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, exactly. I give y'all a little bull. Oh, he really back. Niggas, y'all know what I do for my life? Like, y'all judging me off the music I made at 19? Like, this is like, what? Like, oh, he gonna, like, agree with that. The best music he made. This is what I'm, yo. 
I do not sell Subway sandwiches. I'm not a barber. I sell music, you hear it? The music is going to get better. This is what I do for my life. I do, I'm not a barber. I don't sell haircuts. I sell music, you hear it? Lie to me. Lie. Lie. You got to lie to me. Yeah, y'all saying King R&B. I'm done that. Y'all know that. King R&B. It was a wild day to see my man go from party to gangbanger next door. But uh, now nah, all jokes aside, as a big time fan of his, it kind of hurt to hear how he felt about his own last drops of music. According to him being kind of BS, one of them being Party Mobile, which I enjoyed and thought was a thorough album. But it's also good to know that he believes and knows he can give his fans better or can acknowledge when he has given us his best. Aside from not having any new studio albums in the last four years, Party has been constantly working, contrary to what people may think. He's still actively writing behind the scenes for artists like Summer Walker and such, while also occasionally putting out singles like the two he dropped with producer OG Parker, one being in late 2022 called No Fuss. And the other coming out early 2023 titled Her Old Friends. On the other hand, we also have potential good news when Party Next Door popped out to a show on Drake's All A Blur tour early last year, where Drake announced PND4 was on the way. We also got a new collab from the two on Drake's For All The Dogs album that was a nice showing from Party and in my opinion was the highlight of the track. Since then we haven't had much updates on any new music from Party until this past February where in his broadcast channel for music and updates on Instagram for supporters, Party has a new update since his last which was roughly 7 months ago that reads, thank you for always tuning in, I've been working hard, updates for you soon. So, with that being said, will we be getting some new music and possibly PND4 sometime this year? There is a strong possibility. It has been a long time since we've heard some new PND, so hopefully Party can deliver something for us fans that have been waiting. Let me know in the comments what you're most excited to hear or expect from Party Next Door in the future. Until next time, this is Ali signing out. See y'all next video.